everyone today we are going to be cleaning and decorating my room this video is honestly long overdue because i've lived here for so long well not that long but like five six ish months and i haven't really like officially shown you guys my room or taken you along on the process of decorating it so that's what we're gonna do today i did a bunch of laundry this morning i still have some clothes in the dryer right now but my bedding actually just got finished so that's the first thing we're gonna do let me show you guys an overview of the room so here is what we are working with it's pretty messy right now i have a bunch of stuff over here this is the worst part got some like trash over here bed is unmade there's like random stuff on my dresser and on my desk also this place needs to be cleaned so bad I need a vacuum I need to like clean the floors and everything all right let's get started Now that my bed is made, I'm gonna take out a bunch of boxes that I have in my room. I have this one from the blow dryer and then the actual box that it like came in. And then I recently got mini Uggs. They are so cute. So I need to take out the box for these. I think that's it. I couldn't take it out for a couple days cause the recycling was full. So I am happy to now have this trash out of my room. Okay, so next, before I start cleaning, I want to just put a bunch of this stuff away. I feel like I can't clean anything if there's just like stuff everywhere. Also, I recently got this little utility cart and I think it's so cute. I just haven't really decorated it yet. I've just thrown random things on there. The top is like kind of cute right now. Also, I sadly need to get rid of this balloon because it is not my birthday anymore. It's now October and my birthday was September 24th. So yeah, I'm just gonna clean up all this stuff. I have like this bag that I brought from home. It has a bunch of like stuff that I bought at home in it, like thrifting got some like bath and body work stuff also i'm planning on doing a gallery wall so i have like a bunch of picture frames all of my camera stuff which was in this drawer i had to move it because i need more room for my hair stuff and same with my wildflower cases this is actually ridiculous and almost a little bit embarrassing you guys know i have an addiction to wildflower cases but anyways i'm gonna start putting some things away Pretty much everything is put away. There's a few things that are still out, but I want to organize them on my little utility cart. So I wanted to show you guys. So first of all, I have this little crate. This was in my nightstand, but it was holding like three things and I just really didn't need it to be in there. So since I don't have any storage for my cameras anymore, I'm going to use this on the utility cart and it's just going to hold my cameras. So I'm thinking it'll just go. Oh, that's like the perfect fit. Okay, it'll go right here. I have my Canon M50, my film camera, and then there's this. This camera which obviously I'm using so it's not gonna go in there right now I also forgot I'm gonna add in my little coin purse with my SD cards and my airpods this one is also pretty messy I don't know how to set up these like journals in a cute way I really like these books I thrifted both of these in Santa Barbara I feel like thrifting books is such an easy way to get like cute decorations because I just love the way that books look but books are expensive and they don't always have cute covers so I don't like want to display every single book that I read also I already have a bunch over here there's a bunch in the living room so i would be spending hundreds of dollars on books so i just thrifted these for like a dollar and then this is from the target dollar section i'm thinking maybe i'll take all of these journals and just stand them up next to them this is what i'm thinking it'll look like and then i'll put the little bookend right here and then i have these candles this one i don't really want on the shelf but this one is super cute so i'll put this here i'm just really not sure how to decorate this thing like i have no idea what to do I also brought some glossier products from home that i don't really use so I have this body oil the bottle is so pretty so I decided that it would be cute to display and then also I have some of their ultra lips when I moved to college there were just things that I didn't take with me because I knew that like I wouldn't have that much room I really don't know why I didn't take these I have this little tray from Amazon so I thought it would be cute to like set them on here like this okay I feel like that's cute but it's just kind of random but for right now I think I'm good to start cleaning
I have new hair. I had no idea that I was gonna be getting bangs at the start of this video. They're not even like super extreme or anything. They're not really that noticeable. So I have a bunch of packages to open. Today I went to Ikea and I got some new nightstands. This video is in fact turning into a whole room redo type video, which I did not plan for. I originally obviously said in the beginning that it was gonna be like a clean and decorate with me. That didn't happen. I have a bunch of new fun stuff for my room. So I'm gonna open some stuff really quickly. First up we have Amazon. So the first thing that I got, I'm so excited about this. I have been wanting this book forever. This is Film For Her by Orion Carlotto. I don't know if that's how you say her last name, but I've just been wanting this book for so long. It's, oh, this is so pretty. Oh my God. This is gonna be a decoration for my room. I will also be like reading through it, obviously, but this is just such a pretty book. So this will definitely be on display somewhere. And then I got new sheets for my bed. I wanted some blue and white sheets because I didn't want my room to be as like pink and girly as it is right now. It will also look very cute with the nightstands, which you guys will see once I build them. There's another one behind me. Okay, now we have the container store. I love the container store. I remember one of the things I got from here. I can't remember the other thing. This is a very big box. First thing I got, I actually have a set of these already. I'm just gonna be organizing my pajama drawer a little bit more. This is just like some drawer dividers. Also, everything in this video will be linked in the description if you wanna buy anything. Oh my gosh, I thought my nail broke. <laughs> okay, we're good. And the next thing that I got is this shoe organizer. So this goes over my closet door. I think that's it for the packages. The next thing I'm gonna do is build my nightstand. So I will see you when they are done. to swap out my nightstands. I'll show you guys what they look like now one more time. So here they are. They're just these cheap little nightstands from Amazon. I actually redecorated the top like a tiny bit. All I really did was add those books, but I feel like it looks so much better like that. I actually did that before I realized that I wanted new nightstands because I just like have always hated how I've decorated my nightstands. I feel like they're so boring, but never knew like what the problem was. So I feel like this is gonna solve it because the new nightstands are just like a nicer color. They're just nicer in general. This this drawer actually like doesn't have like a track or like a wheel so it's very hard to like open and close and then this one is just a little door it's not organized I've never really figured out what to do with it but it'll be so nice having like actual functioning drawers and then I put this little thing on the side right here also this nightstand scuffs up so easily it's crazy it looks like I just haven't taken good care of it when like I have it's just like any little thing will like leave a mark anyways this is my phone charger and then this is like my computer charger I will be adding one of these little strips to my next nightstand too. And then this one I actually redecorated since the beginning of this video too. Didn't really do much. Again, just put some things in this basket instead of them just like sitting there alone. But yeah, I think that's it. Let's start trading them out. Also, I just remembered before we do that, pro tip, if you don't have a hammer, use a measuring cup. Just hold on to the end of it and like start whacking. It works and it works very well actually. Use a measuring cup, I'm telling you. Okay, let's switch them out. Okay, one down, one to go. It's already looking so cute. totally changed the way my entire room looks. I decorated this one the exact same as it was before because I loved it. Nothing is in the drawers yet. And then all of my chargers are still just kind of like piled up back here. I still need to put the sticky thing on the side. And then this nightstand, I really don't know what to do with. I have no idea how to decorate this one. I feel like there's too much blue and green. I want some like other colors in here too. I love how this one is super colorful. So I need to swap out something. You know what? I could probably swap out this basket for this cream one. Also, 
also, I don't even think I said, I ordered these blue baskets on Amazon. It came with these two and then two mini versions. This one used to be right there, but I thought it looked weird because it was like the same color as the utility cart. So I swapped it out for this blue one and I think it looks really cute. This is still definitely not done yet though. So ignore this. I don't know what I'm doing with this and I don't think that I'm really gonna figure it out. At least not for a while. That's not really like one of my priorities. Over here, I have just some stuff that I've like been saving all of my like picture frames. Oh, these are the little crates that I was telling you guys about. I ordered some little tiny picture frames on Amazon that I'm so excited about. It's a pack of four. The other ones are somewhere under there. And I got this candle from Ikea the other day. I was thinking of putting it on my nightstand, but I feel like there's just too much green and blue, especially with my sheets right here. I'm gonna organize the drawers. And then this half of the room is actually embarrassing because it's so messy. I was also filming a TikTok of this. So go check that out if you want. Just through my nightstands over here. There's random stuff everywhere. I have the vacuum over here. And then I'm actually gonna organize this right now, this shoe organizer from the container store. And I'm gonna organize my bottom drawer of my dresser. So giant cleaning and organizing montage starts now. decorating my room. Today I'm gonna be adding some prints to my walls. I just want to customize them a little bit more. Currently the only things that I have on my walls are my calendar and this little mirror that I thrifted, but there's nothing on the walls over here or over here. So I wanted to do something to add some color to the walls. So I've been collecting some picture frames and saving a bunch of cute little wall art on Pinterest. I have my Pinterest linked in the description if you want to see that board. So I have this little basket of picture frames that I've been collecting and I put some of the wall art in them already. I can't hang them right now because I'm out of command strips. This is currently all I have and they're Velcro so they have to double up so there's only three. So I have class right now and then I'm gonna run to Target and get some more command strips and then after that I'll hang them up but right now I just want to show you guys the prints and how I'm gonna lay them out and everything. So first up I have this print. I chose little art pieces on Pinterest that just felt very personal to me and just matched with the vibe that I was going for. So here's this one. I played piano growing up so I just thought this was so cute and this is what my piano looked like and then this frame is from Target. I have another one but I haven't like changed the picture that it came with yet. I think I might save this frame for the living room and then I have this frame. I thrifted this one and it has this cute little picture of these cats in it. You will notice a lot of my pictures do have a cat theme because I just love cats and piano so a lot of them have to do with music or cats <laughs> or both. Okay so now we have this print. I just like the colors in it a lot and the frame is thrifted. Then we have a smaller version of this frame also from Target with this cute little print in it. I just loved the colors. And then this one is thrifted. I haven't changed the print in it. This is how it came, but I honestly kind of like it. I think it's cute. And then you guys saw these a bit earlier. I ordered these off of Amazon. They are so tiny. They didn't come with any like backing or glass and they're super tiny, but I mean, it's fine because they can just be hung up with command strips since they're so small. Same with all of these. Also, I wouldn't be able to put nails on the wall anyways. And then here are the little prints that I printed for these frames. This one is a little piece of sheet music, but it has cat drawings on it. This one, I feel like this is an actual place, but I don't know where it is. Or it's just a piece of art and I don't know what I'm talking about. This one is the moon. And then this one is Harry Styles' album, Harry's House. So now that you guys have seen all the prints, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna put them on my wall. I'm planning on using these two and then this one right here on this wall above my bed. We're gonna just see how it looks and play around with the actual layout. I'm hoping that that looks good. And then this little layout right here is kind of what I'm thinking for this area. Nothing is set in stone. I'm also very nervous about hanging all of these up because I don't want to mess anything up. I'm gonna try my best to hang these up nicely and I will show you guys how it goes. I'm all 
all done hanging up the pictures and I am so excited for you guys to see what it looks like. I love it so much more than I thought I would. I was debating on even hanging up the wall art because I was just scared that it wasn't gonna look good but I am actually in love and I feel like it just completes the room and makes it look like someone actually lives here. So without further ado, here is my room. We have the new nightstands. There's just so much more color and warmth in the room. We have the addition of the wall art above my bed, which I feel like just fills up the space so nicely. Also, the pack of command strips that I got included a level in it, which I didn't even realize when I bought it, but that made hanging up the pictures so, 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 so much easier. I usually use the level on my phone, but I feel like the little level that it came with was so much easier to use. We have this nightstand over here and then my little film for her book. I am so obsessed with it. And then and over here we have this little wall art. I feel like there's so much more personality in my room now that there's like even just a tiny bit of art on the walls. Then we have my utility cart. I don't know if it's done being decorated or not. There will probably be more books added as I build my collection. I also added another bin. I really like the touch of yellow. I also just needed more storage. And then this half of my room stayed the exact same. I do have a couple extra of the little gold ones. So maybe I'll put like a couple right here or something. I think that could be really cute. When I started this video, I did not think that it was going to turn into a whole room transformation type of video, but I'm so happy it did because I seriously love my room 10 times more than I did before and I already did love my room a lot, but it just really feels like me now. I was stuck for so long with like how to decorate it and I was kind of just like whatever, like I'll figure it out one day, but I'm so, so glad that I actually took the time to figure it out, find some prints that I love, find some new nightstands, figure out what like the problem was. There was just way too much white in my room and and I feel like the nightstands and the wall art really balanced it out. Also, just in case you were wondering, I'm not doing a full like in-depth room tour right now, as in like saying where every single thing is from type thing, because I will have that in the apartment tour, which might not be for a while, I'm sorry. But I really just don't want any like holiday decorations in the apartment tour, and that's just not gonna like happen for a couple months with like Halloween and Christmas and all that. And I feel like we just need a little bit more time to really get it together. I know we wanna do some prints in the living room, room too and maybe in the kitchen I don't know so once Rachel and I have perfected the place I will be doing the apartment tour and going in detail on where everything's from stuff like that so just wanted to let you guys know but I think that's everything that I had to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys